Hey guys, welcome to part three of my Napoleon Total War uh, Italy campaign. Un unfortunately, I had some major problems with uh, the Windows Media Player, and I tried for hours and hours to get it to work, but it would not publish part three, uh, the part three that I made. So I'm just gonna record this. With this would have been part four, but I'm gonna record it as part three and just tell you what I did. Um, I captured this city here from Piedmont. Uh, they, I demanded their surrender and they gave it to me. And Napoleon came and did the same thing here. After beating some forces, I was able to capture the city. So he's healing there right now. Um, and yeah, I got so I got three forces or three cities, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, I made a grave mistake here. I sent a weak force out close enough to their main city with a ton of troops in it so he's going to actually attack me uh, this turn right away here and unfortunately I did not turn fraps back on during the battle I forgot um, so you're gonna miss a big battle here which is unfortunate it turns out to be a victory for me as you'll see his forces retreat but um, I it was just barely Already a victory I had displayed. my general uh, a quarter of one unit of infantry and my cannons left against uh, about five or six units of his infantry uh, but with grape shot and the AI's stupidity I was able to somehow pull out a victory which was really lucky um, so I got saved from my own mistake there uh, with a bit of skill and luck and yeah so I'm going to plan out now for basically the rest of this uh, turn here, I have to see in the field. what I'm gonna do to like how I can capture that because his forces are still too strong and my forces are all depleted as you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull them back and re regroup in this city here until I'm strong enough. It's gonna be a while because I need to heal my troops which takes quite some time so I'll work on that later but right now I'll build a um, you can build this building that building the first one uh, replenishes uh, plus eight percent your troops but I want money right now to support a bigger army so I'm gonna go ahead and get the market and Napoleon here he's still uh, healing so I can't really use him which is unfortunate um, so right now I basically just have to sit back and heal um, luckily I'm not at war with uh, them right there so I just have to worry about my the northern cities right now uh, that'll be my next target uh, once I take this city because uh, that is their capital so when I attack that city again on the left I'm going to attack the, their capital the from both sides, and hopefully I can theater, defeat them pretty easy. With the rest of the uh, they have a lot of forces though, so I'm going to, to build up my forces for now um, until I can launch a major offensive and overwhelm them. So the Papal States broke their alliance with Venice. Uh, got some new troops here. Turn that off. It's not letting me turn it off for some reason. Um. So yeah, a few more turns till my barracks is complete, and then I'll have unit superiority for now. Um. I'm just gonna recruit some more militia units to bolster my forces uh, in the event that I get attacked, and I can also leave them when I have line infantry uh, okay. to guard my cities. Uh, Napoleon's troops are almost healed. Uh, some are still pretty depleted, so I'm gonna bolster his uh, forces in case Austria comes at me from there, uh, from the north with Piedmont. So it's a pretty, it's a pretty. Uh, I don't really know what the word to use is here. Uh, I'll just say sticky situation right now. My forces are overstretched, uh, basically because I just don't have enough of them against the armies that I'm facing. Uh, but I think once I can launch a major offensive against 
one of these major cities he uh, Piedmont has left, I'll be able to overwhelm the rest of his uh, provinces. So I might just pull troops from Napoleon's uh, forces and bolster up this one here so I can take out that city. Um, and with Napoleon, he may get attacked from right there. So I want to uh, leave him there for now. I can't really pull forces yet, so I'll keep bolstering up uh, militia to guard that city in the event that I, I can or have to. Uh, and I'm basically just waiting for this barracks to get complete so I can uh, have experienced units right off the bat. Uh, but right now I'll record or recruit, sorry, uh, some more line infantry. Uh, and my turn here again. Uh, so I'll get some new buildings constructed, market, and some more militia. Um, sorry about that. That was a ventrilo. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and check out some diplomacy here. I'll see if I can get any uh, allies. Most people are still hostile to me or indifferent. And I can't spend money to make them like me right now. So the only thing I can really offer them is military access, which they probably don't want. But it's worth a try just to try and get some al some alliance going in the hopes that it a fluke happens and they accept it. So I'm going to go ahead and give him military access. And he rejected it. That's a shame. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this commentary here short uh, just a little bit. I will catch you guys in part four hopefully this video works and uploads and gets published uh... thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in part four